So we are respected Musalli Ali Khan. Today we are talking about what good deed we are doing in this world. What result, result will come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What will get in this dunya in the day of judgment? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the clearly mentioned in the Quran that the whole group of people, that so many groups will be <coughs> the judgment day. The every single group, Allah will bring them the front of the door of paradise. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا سَلَامٌ Then all group will come to ready to enter the paradise, the one angel. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا سَلَامٌ The angel will say, سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ O heavenly people, سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ Peace be upon you. فَدْخُلُوهَا خَالِدِينَ you will be entered the Allah's paradise and you will stay the paradise permanently. Khalidina Fiha. So, the group group people, when, when ready to enter the paradise, every single people will wait the, who will be entered first in the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people want, want to know the today, the, who is the fortune people? He will enter the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at first. Every group of people, every single people will wait for see, uh, the, see the, who is this fortunate people? Who is the lucky people? Who will enter the, at first the house of, uh, paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ahmad rahimahullah, he wrote an authentic hadith in his Masnad Ahmad, the very authentic hadith book and very large hadith book. He wrote, the Maha Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at first he knocked the door of paradise and the, the gatekeeper of paradise, he will say, who are you? For Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, I am, I, am, I am Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then angel will say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala word at me, I will not open the gate for any person before you. Subhanallah. So, subhanallah. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the angel will open the door, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will enter, and with Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 70,000 his ummah will enter with him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not ask any question. The 70,000 of people, 70,000 of Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa They will enter with Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the, the, the Allah's paradise. Because, the, what the reason? This Allah said, Wasika lazi nattaqaw. The thousands of thousands of people, they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world. They fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why he did, he did not do any, any bad thing, any any bad activities. He he saved from the all kinds of bad, bad activities. He saved from the all bad things because he fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He thinks that one day I will meet with my Lord. Then what I'll give answer? I'm do, if I am doing the bad things, if I am doing the bad activities in this world, that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who are fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring every single group the front of the door of paradise. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, the angel will say, Salamun alaikum. O oh, oh people of paradise, those who have entered the Allah's paradise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving you peace, peace and blessing for you today. So, you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the so many doors. Judgment day will so many doors Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for us. Like one door name is Babu Salat. One door name is Babu Rayyan. One door name is Babu Sadaqah. One door name is Babu 
jihad. So those people who prayed five times in, in his whole life, he did not miss the fourth salat. By accident he missed, he, he stayed where he did khaza. This, part, this group of people, from the door of salat, the angel will call them. Angel will welcome them. O oh, slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that in this dunya, you prayed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala five times salat, you obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's orders, so today you come, you enter uh, by uh, enter the throw of my door, the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So subhanallah. So those who are give sadaka, like Hadith said that the two sadaka you give, like as an example, you have an apple tree. So you wanted to give the one apple to Sadaka, but you said, okay, I'll give the two, two apples for needy people. So this Babu Sadaka will welcome you the judgment day. You will say, O oh, slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you did Sadaka in this dunya for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So today, I welcome you. You come and you enter the throne my, by my gate to enter the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the result, the good deeds we are doing. The result will get the judgment day. So though one gate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already created for us is called Babu Rayyan. The Babu Rayyan, the only fasting people will enter this gate to the Paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This call, this gate will call, O oh, fasting people, in your whole life, you keep fasting. So today, I welcome you. You enter the Allah, Allah's paradise with my door, says subhanallah. So some people will get called from the Babul Jihad. You know the Thousands of thousands of people, he gave his life. He did jihad. He wanted to establish the Din Islam in this dunya. Like, look the Philistine. The people are giving his life, but they are not wanted to leave his country. This is the real Iman, this is the real jihad they are doing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judgment day. The gate of jihad will call them. Oh, slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You did jihad. You tried to hold the Islam. You tried to establish the Islam in this dunya. So today I welcome you. You entered the Allah's paradise through my gate. So subhanahu So this is the result. So, you know that our beloved Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu so many hadith he narrated for us. One companion, he was loved so much Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One day he said, Ya Rasulullah, I love you more than my life, more than family. I love you, Rasulullah. So when I went my home, so I remember you. So I want to try, come quick to, uh, quick to, uh, to Masjid Anawi, and I want to meet you, with you. But if I not see you, then I will not feel peace, Ya Rasulullah. So Ya Rasulullah, one thing I want to ask you, Ya Rasulullah, it is true, one day I will be die, and you will be live in this dunya, Ya Rasulullah. It's true? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says it's true. Ya Rasulullah, the judgment day, I know that after judgment, you will be entered and you will be stay in paradise, then nothing for us in high position. Ya Rasulullah, that time I wanted, I want to see you, yes, but, but, but Ya Rasulullah, how I see you? I don't know how, which heaven I will, I will stay and Allah give me the permission to will, which heaven I will, see, I, I will stay. The Prophet is is not giving his any answer. He's silent. Everybody is silent. What answer for Sallallahu uh, should give him? The, Dibri, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Dibril Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." Dibril Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came and said, uh, "Dibril said, 'Ya Rasulullah, say your companion, 
those people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed his mercy and who are they the number one the minan nabiyin all prophets was siddiqin and those who are truthful person those the right righteous person was shuhada and those who are martyred the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was salihin and pious person you will be you will be your judgment will be with them and you will stay that in paradise with them says subhanallah then for his companion he is make happy the judgment day after in the paradise i will meet with my prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa hasuna ulaika rabbi how how excellent companion are they are subhanallah so this is the result you are doing the good deeds you are performing the five times salat you are keeping the fasting you are doing sadaqa you are giving charity and you are you are doing the fighting the way of allah subhanahu wa taala this is the result we we'll get the judgment day allah subhanahu wa taala give us tawfiq to more ibadah in this dunya allah subhanahu wa taala give us tawfiq to obey allah subhanahu wa taala and our beloved prophet muhammad rasulullah definitely we will get forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa taala in the judgment day جزاك الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمه الله يا برادرز ان ذا لاست تايم وين يو كولكتد ماني فروم يو سو اند اوف ذا تايم تايم واز فيري شورت تا اور بولنديير برادرز هي تيكينج ماني فروم ان ذا هو ار جيف ذا ويت كارد 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 مش كارد مشين ويل تيك تايم سو هي ووركينج ويت يو سو اف يو بي ذا هاوس اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى باي كارد Please raise up your hand, and he will go to you and collect the money, inshallah. So time will be saved, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamualaikum.